Welcome back to Power ng Pinoy. Francis Tanseco was a nurse or caretaker in the UK who turned to art to express his inner self. From watercolors to oil painting, Francis enjoys painting Filipino beauties, including former First Lady Imelda Marcos and the superstar Nora Honor. Let's get to know more about Francis Tanseco. Today, we'll talk to another man who lives and breathes art in everything that he does. Right now, he works as a nurse in London, but painting is his true passion. My name is Francis Tanseco. I was born in Katbalogan Samar, a waray waray for that matter. I grew up in Manila. I studied at Concordia College to, to become a nurse. While I was in Manila, I was very active in performing arts as well, one of which was the Bayanihan Dance Company. Nursing is my profession. Art is my vocation. I didn't know that at the time, but later on I was thinking I was trapped in a collective psyche of a Philippine society wherein nursing is the way to a greener pasture. Suffice it to say, mom has influenced me to go into it. He concentrated his efforts on his nursing career, but the urge to do something more, something artistic, was strong. In 1995, I was asked to work for, as an au pair in, in Tokyo, Japan. Basically, my, my contract, it says, was a private nurse, but that's just, you know, uh, Palamuti, pampabango sa, sa, sa totoong trabaho. The real job was as, as a yaya, which I did for two years. In 2000, I moved to London as an OFW, and that was a big opportunity for me to be able to basically travel the world. Uh, worked there as a nurse until about 2012. In the UK, I was doing well as a nurse. Uh, at the same time, I have, I have become a, a union representative. Uh, for Filipinos, or FW, with lots of problems. Apart from that, I started doing painting, and that's how things changed for me as well. Francis was a self-taught artist and started painting in 2002. Suddenly, I have the, the thought and the thinking, the inkling of doing a painting. And the first series I did was called Healing, which is related to me as a nurse, which is related to all the cases going on around me, which is related to 911 and the injustices that were happening to the OFWs. So I thought an outlet to, to vent out my frustration. When 911 happened, uh, my second series of painting was Make Love Not War. I did after that the Beauty, Love and Madness. The painting come about because of the passion in me to express and being able to help and I think more than anything to uplift how you feel as an OFW, as a Filipino. I put myself in too many things. I was doing nursing, I was representing a Filipino OFW at the same time and I was uh, dancing for the Lahing Kayumanggi group. That in itself is, has an aim, which is basically to promote the beautiful Philippine culture. And I wanted to be part of that, you know, in, in a foreign land. My idea of it is really to present something to the, to the people, make them think rather than just entertain them. Either doing the performing arts or the, the visual arts. My, focus was on, on the message that I want to give to the people. I didn't realize that as an individual person, you make a difference. Having his expanded artistic vision, Francis Tanseco decided to expand his horizons and move to the United States. There he continued his paintings, holding exhibitions. The main reason I'm moving to the U.S. is because of the green card. America is the place where most of my family lives. I suppose I should give it a, a go and give it a try. At the same time, I have decided to come up with, with several paintings, painting exhibition here. Working on a series which is almost done called Perfect Empire. <laughs> this one has something to do with empires of the past and how, you know, when, when 
a very powerful country becomes too drunk of its own power, it, it loses the direction and the focus. So what has Francis learned from his own personal journey while working abroad? Don't think of uh, going abroad about money. Think of going abroad about uh, enhancing yourself, developing yourself, widening your horizon, because whatever happens, whether you succeed or not, when you go back to wherever, the Philippines, or if you decide to go somewhere else, you can always contribute to your society because you've learned something from that experience. As a Pinoy, how has his experiences changed for him? I think more than anything, I've, I have become more Filipino. Uh, that's one thing that's uh, important in my, in my artwork as well, is love yourself, because nobody else will do knowing thyself. Because by knowing thyself, you will be able to help yourself. And if you can help yourself, you will empower yourself. And if you empower yourself, you can empower those who are around you. Be proud of who you are, what we are. We, we have so much to contribute to the world. Yan ang Power ng Pinoy! Thanks again for watching Power ng Pinoy. We hope that Francis and Wilson's story had inspired you. We hope to bring you the best to help bring out the best in you too. Join us again next week as we bring more stories from talented kababayans all around the globe. Meanwhile, come share your stories with us on Facebook. Tell us what inspires you and motivates you to reach for your own dream. Because nothing is impossible as long as we plan ahead, pray hard, and work even harder. And if you do well, help others do well too. Yan ang power ng Pinoy. Sad.